Hey you guys, my bold and the beautiful fans, welcome back to the channel. We're going to have a little bit of a discussion today because of course we got some burning questions in regards to a, one of our favorite couples in the bold and the beautiful, Thomas and Hope, also known as Thope. The question is, should they leave each other alone or try to stay together? And I'm going to unpack reasons why Hope might want to leave, why Thomas should possibly leave, or why they should possibly try to make this work and stay together. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and address these questions. So we're going to start with Hope first on five reasons why maybe she should leave Thomas alone. The first one is she's just not ready for a commitment. Now, as she stated, even though she loves this man, we finally got the L word out of her after waiting since probably almost a year. She decides to say that she loves him. She still wants to see him, be, spend time with him, be with him. But she says she just got out of a marriage and that she is not ready for a commitment. And so if you're not ready, which we all know she was considered. Thomas before she got out of the marriage and pretty much when Liam, which we'll talk about him a little bit later, decided that, yeah, he was pretty much done after that kiss in Rome. Yeah, I think at this point, she, yeah, she might not be ready for a commitment like she says, and that would be one good reason why she shouldn't and let him go. Another reason that she probably should leave is because she's sending mixed signals. So as much as she does not want the commitment, her keeping that ring, wearing it around her neck, definitely gave Thomas hope. And anytime you give mixed signals, and you know we'll talk about Thomas and his situation in a little bit, the thing is it can cause quite a stir of confusion. And if you're in but maybe out, Nobody is concise or intentional about the direction that they really truly want to go. It could give off future faking or false hope, no pun intended, when it comes to giving off mixed signals. So this may be another reason why maybe she should leave Thomas alone. Also, another reason is these two are in business with each other. She's the face of hope for the future. He's the designer. And with everything that's been going on this week, and of course, the fact of the rejected proposal, we see Thomas upset. How is this going to affect the business? And I know one reason Steffi was upset was not only want to protect her brother, but what is this going to look like with everybody walking on eggshells in the company if these two are not on the same? page. Now, at some point, they may get over it down the line. But in the beginning, that's going to be a tough situation in business. We'll see that happening next week on The Young and the Restless when it comes to Heather, Daniel, and Lily. So, you know, when it comes to matters of the heart and in business as well, it can get real sticky. So this may be another reason why she probably need to let Thomas go as well. Reason number four, she knows full well what Thomas wants, which is a commitment that she's not ready to give, which is what I said in reason number one. If you know that someone wants something totally different than what you want, I don't think it's a good idea to go down that path, as in, especially if that person hasn't had a change of heart. And the fact that she also full knows his past. Now, I know that he's changed. He went through the therapy. He's done some growth. But that doesn't mean that this could trigger something with everything is going on, which obviously little puke waffle boy Liam is actually saying, and I'm not in agreements with him, but the possibility is there. If you know that this man wants a commitment, he's been pining after you for a decade, and then now it sets him to this level where he's that upset. Yeah, we don't know what this could turn to. And like I say, I'm hoping that he doesn't go dark, writers. But at the same time, knowing that this man wants something different from you and you don't want to maybe go that direction is another reason why she may need to let him go. 
And finally, reason number five, is she clearly over Liam? I mean, sometimes subconsciously, you know, in this particular case, she wasn't necessarily happy at this point because in 2023, Liam was actually Team Hope. We hadn't seen anything up until Rome where he was actually trying to go back and forth. Now, we do know his history between Hope and Steffi, but in the last year up until July of last year, he was pretty much being the husband that he needed to be for Hope. She decided to fantasize and wonder what it was like to be with him. At the same time, even after the four days that they slept together, she asked him, are we able to fix this marriage? And then at the birthday party, she was considering trying to get back with Liam. Now, there was two opportunities for Liam to take her back that she had given him, and he said no. What if he had said yes? Would we even have dope at this point? So subconsciously, even though on the surface, it looked like she loved her some Thomas, and we hope because we love us some dope. But subconsciously, does she still love Liam and is clearly over it because she is definitely mourning that marriage? So if that's the case, that would be one final reason in this video why maybe she should let Thomas go. So now we move on to Thomas and five reasons why he may want to end things with hope. Number one, he wants a commitment. He has already proposed not once, not just twice, but three times with this final proposal that we saw earlier this week. He wants a commitment. He loves some hope. He wants to be with her. He wants to be a family with her. They have blended children together and he is ready to be her husband. However, She's not ready to be his wife. And with him wanting that commitment, and if she, like she stated, I don't know if we could have a forever love. Yeah, that's a good indication or at least a pink flag that maybe you should want to move on, especially if you desire and require marriage. Number two his sanity. Now, the thing is, this is something that Steffi brought up. We saw in the earlier this week episode that if the fact that he cannot get what he want, which Hope doesn't have to give that to him if she doesn't want to, but because of their history together and what he's done and all of the work that he's put through to get the therapy that he needs to get him to this point, if it's going to affect his sanity, because what if she says yes, but then changes her mind in a month or so? Then maybe this is not a good idea. Maybe he needs to take a step back and say, hey, how can I live without this person without it affecting my sanity? I think that was a good point that Steffi brought up. And if, in fact, it's going to affect his mental health in this situation, maybe Thomas should just walk away. Number three is the same thing that I said about hope business. Remember, he is the designer. She's the face of the business. If this is going to be a problem where they're on two different pages and relationships can definitely affect business if it's in the business arena, it's probably going to be a huge problem tiptoeing around each other. Just like I mentioned with the whole situation going on with the Young and the Restless when it comes to Daniel, Heather, and Lily now. So what happens when things go wrong in a relationship when you're working together? So, yeah, I mean, if it's going to cause a problem and going to hit the bottom line and he might decide to get mad and walk away and hope has no designer unless she chooses Zenday or something. But at this point, if it's going to be a huge problem, you might want to second guess that and maybe he should walk away. Number four, his son. Now, we do know that Hope is the legal mother of Douglas Forrester. However, he's been trying to put those two together for a while. Now, we haven't seen Douglas in a while, but that was the last thing we remember. He set up a whole romantic dinner for the two of them. If this is not going to work, even we talked about his mental health, they don't want to affect what happened with their son. So it's something to also consider with the children involved, especially if he's not going to be doing well. And then we have this whole issue with his auntie and hope, and they're going to be infighting over the next week or so. 
kids are watching. So, I mean, for him to see his aunt and what they're going through and then his dad and then Hope as well, because he loves his mom too, it's going to be a whole problem. So if it's going to be a situation where they cannot get on the same page and there's a child in the middle of this, it's something to consider that they may need to part ways and just co-parent. And finally, number five, if Hope is steadfast on not wanting a commitment and Thomas wanting a commitment, he may have to go and find someone else who wants that same commitment and be on the same value system that he's on. If he's looking for somebody that wants marriage, who wants to have a family and, you know, wants to move forward together in that form of a commitment, you need to find somebody who wants that same thing. If hope is not on that same page, you're going to have to choose somebody else. You can't force somebody to be in the same space that you are. And if hope doesn't want to move forward in that manner, he can't make her. And at the same time, if that's what he wants, he got to find somebody who wants the same thing too. And what that might mean is him moving away from hope. So now, especially for my dope fans, how can these two make this work and stay together? Number one, they can still get engaged, but delay marriage. So what that means is if she decides to say, you know what, I can't marry you right now. However, I will accept your engagement and then we can continue to be engaged, date, grow our relationship. And then at that point, hopefully she's committed to actually accepting the proposal and the engagement, then down the road, they can get married. We know this is soap operas, things happen. We still haven't seen Ridge and Brooke get married, even though they've been engaged since what, last year? So, I mean, it's possible to have long engagements, hopefully not that long, but if they choose to, if she decides to have a change of heart because it's her decision and she say, okay, this is how we can do this. I'll accept the proposal. Let's be engaged. But let's kind of extend our engagement and continue to grow our relationship, blend the families, try to get comfortable with each other, everyday life, and then we'll get married. Follow their parents. That's what they're doing right now, right? So that's one way that they can actually figure out a way to stay together. Number two, they both get what they want. She gets her one woman man, somebody that's clearly completely devoted to her without a divided heart that she spent the last decade or so with regards to her previous marriage. And then Thomas also get what he wants. He get the woman of his dream, his business partner, which we'll talk about in number three, but they both get what they want. The only hurdle here is whether or not they both can actually get on the same page with the commitment. But if they were to get on the same page, they actually would both get what they want completely out of this relationship. Number three, business again. They will work together, grow the business forward. If they're all on the same page, they're working as a business couple, a power couple possibly, and could move not only their their fashion line forward, but they could also move the family forward. Ridge had also talked about the next generation, which I'll talk about that in point number five. But in business, they could work together smoothly. His designing is motivated by her. And on the flip side, she gives inspiration to him. So, I mean, with the two gelling together, it would definitely be also a good business move until it isn't. Because, again, this is soap world. But at least for the time being, they can move cohesively together as a team and move not only their relationship and marriage possibly forward, but also the company. Number four children, babies. Because remember, we saw Hope telling Liam that she was willing to have a baby for Thomas. I don't know if you guys remember that. And the thing is, 
why not? I mean, if they decide that they want to become committed, get engaged, get in, getting married, if they all get on the same page, they also could have another child in this relationship together. Now, they currently are sharing Douglas. She's his adoptive mother. And of course, Thomas is his biological father. But one of the other things about marriage is lineage and legacy. And what way to keep the Forrester legacy going by having another child? child so they could actually you know push the family for it because we said about pushing the business for it but they can push the family for it by having a child together and last but not least as i mentioned before the next generation remember i said rid said that they could be the next power couple absolutely that opportunity exists you know with both thomas and hope they could be a power couple if they actually was to get past the commitment hurdle they decide to go ahead and get married maybe even bring in some children they have children with douglas together already and why not bring in the next generation as well now i don't know if steffi will have a problem with that as her being co-ceo but at the same time you know i know the whole thing about this show is is Logan's and Forrester's together. We've seen that with Eric and Donna, Brooke and Ridge, and, you know, Katie, yeah, well, she's with Carter, so, I mean, he's part of the business. He's Ridge's best friend, so why not Thomas and Hope? So the opportunity is there, but it's going to be up to them to leave each other alone or to try to make it work and stay together. Okay, so there you have it. Let's get the conversation started down in the comment section. I want to know what you guys have to say about this video. Do you think Thomas should leave Hope alone? Do you think Hope should leave Thomas alone? Or can they make this work and stay together with the same common goal? Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on your notifications so you're notified every time a video is posted. And until the next video, we'll see you soon. Bye, guys.